Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. We have broken so many boxes. <laughs> we have. Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. We have broken so many boxes. We true. Right in the back, and this one is going down too. Whoa! Oh, roll the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Let's see, it. what are we looking for today? Maybe water, could be teardrop. Oh, so close, oh, it is lightning, lightning bolt. bolt energy. That is excellent news, although it doesn't pair nicely with today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are Flabebe, Quaxly, and Hypno. Ooh, I think at the very least, is there a couple of Hypnos, a couple of Quaxlys? I bet there's a couple of Quaxlys because it's the starter Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, okay, that wouldn't okay. surprise me at all. So we should be on the lookout for that. Um, otherwise, I'm excited. We have two episodes left before we can crown our champion. If you will recall, in the past couple of weeks, things have looked bad for Margo, our former first place holder, who is now in fourth place after some wild pulls in the last couple of episodes, including two more alt art Miriams. Yes, yeah, so we're up to uh, another Lauren that currently holds the top spot with yeah. 89 points. So that, that is what Margo is gunning for in today's episode. We also got Tyler Gillies in fifth place with 52 points. So there are people within striking distance and just nothing is settled until the boxes have been broken as we say all <laughs> right well let's just get right into it ben today's first contestant is former season champion brooke brooke yeah she's coming into today's episode with seven points so she's gonna need something really big if she wants to do this but maybe she's landing more for that big c which i want to say is 12 points is what we're looking for is let's that correct right. yep so we got only one person so mm -hmm. far ryan, ryan who does have all three packs opened with 12 points well, so now it's gonna come down to a how a many more up. All right, let's see here. So we got the Rotom will score, the Chansey, the Rare Candy, the Fido, the Drift Blim, the Defiance Band, the Tatsugiri, the that Magnetom score. will score, the Bruxish will not score. Oh, but the Gardevoir EX! There you go. Possibly the most competitive card in the game right now is Gardevoir EX, although there are rarer versions of the card that are probably going to drive the value of this one down a little bit. Let's take a peek, see though, see what we end up with. We got it sleeved up for me. What, what number is that gonna be on? Number 86 on the set. I don't think this is even our first one of the season. I doubt it. Well, let's see, Gardevoir is gonna come in at $8.03. Man, so nine, 10, 11 points on the pack. That is going to bring uh, Brooks total to 18 on Eight, the season. 18 and tying for 28th place with Andrew P, Brant, Jesse, CK, Hooftalk, Anthony. No, not Anthony. I'm sorry. Anthony, you only have 17 points. Oh, man. Sorry. Man. Better luck next time. Almost gave out a free point for free. Who's uh, up next? Next up we have Karen. Karen! Karen is coming into the day with 20 points. 20 points, okay, so very points, impressive. Right? So let's, right? yeah, let's check our quality eighth place, which is actually, I completely forgot about this, has skyrocketed, truly, uh, with Braun currently in a quality eighth place position with exactly 41 points. Oh my gosh. Eighth place is 41 points. That is wild. So uh, if Karen wants to hit that, she's gonna need uh, a good, yeah, a good, uh, what, 22 point pack here? Yep, there we go. Let's see what we got. Now, the good news for you, Karen, is that we've had one of our uh, moderators running some data to see which of us pulls better packs, and it is me by a mile. <laughs> so, it's kind of you're welcome. It's kind of frustrating, because right now you're the host of Popcorn Culture. You win the most J versus Ben's on Super Carlin Brothers, and here we are. Here we are. 
All right, well, I'm gonna tell you, Ben. We got teardrop energy here for Karen. Can we get 21 points out of this pack? That's a lot to ask for, and so far we're not looking so good. We got Quaxwell, we got Slowpoke. That's another oh, sand dial! The sand dial! That's something! Oh. And the, oh, it is a double pull, and the Magnuson will get an extra point, point for being lightning. I know, but I don't think it'll pull a whole lot. I don't I think, it's kinda think like so, yeah. PX it's a number. little bit more competitive, but not great. Yep, so 76 cents for the Magnuson, so that's, that card is gonna be worth two, two points. points. And then the yeah. sand dial, number 216 on the set is going to be worth $2.81, so that will round up to three. three. So five total, so 25 points total for Karen. She's gonna bring her shy of eighth place, unfortunately. But still a very impressive showing for the season, so well done overall, and thanks for playing. These cards will be headed your way. Yes, and uh, you're welcome for pulling you two full art cards. Yeah, and, and classic, classic yeah. J move. You know it, you know classic it. J the other thing that we've learned through all this data pulling yeah. is that you tend to open a lot more packs than me, which means that like in situations like this where maybe like we've chattered a little bit, yeah. it's like you trying to sneak in. I'm not trying to sneak in anywhere, trying to sneak man. In, trying to sneak Next in. up we have Anita, who uh, has got five points on the season. All right, Anita. So Anita could be looking very, uh, very definitely at a big Steve situation here. Yeah, looking for seven points overall. So right. we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, we got the Char Cadet, the Caspa Kid, the Potion, the Bweasel, the Rock Chest Plate, the Titan, the Youngster, the Flittle will not, not score. score, the Primeape will not score, and the Reveroo. So just going to be a single point pack there for Anita for six on the season. There we go. There we go. Thanks Reverum. for playing. We appreciate it, Anita. Cards headed your way. Rever room, yeah. All right. Next up we have Carly who has nine points on the season. Okay, again, Let's this see. feels like it feels like a really great opportunity just to get three points and be right there for, for that tie with Big Steve. Three seems pretty attainable. Three uh, three feels, feels incredibly even attainable. likely. Yeah. So R right. Ryan currently trembling in his boots. All right. Dark teardrop energy on the board, Scatterbug, Kilowatt. The Kilowatt will score. Oh, you're right, the Kilowatt, you're right. I'm not used to today's uh, type advantage yet. Greedent, Crocodile, the Crocker Rock. Bam, the Dollop does not score, and the Coridon oh. will. So, oh no, it is so close. It is gonna be a two point pack instead Just of a three point points. pack for 11 on the season. Tying with Big Steve, but not quite beating him, unfortunately. Wow, that is unfortunate for Carly. Comes so close. So far away. So far away. Next up is Elizabeth, who's got four points on the season thus far. All right, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth likes to sew quilts. Hey! Our grandmother sews quilts. That's true. She's made every member of the family one. It's true. All it's quite right. an honor to get one. It is, it is. We've got a solid energy right there. The Dedene, the Pineco, the Flittle, the Fui Coco, the Nest, Nest Ball, Ball scores. Score too. The Pachirisu will score. The Picnic Basket, the Varum will not score. The Satato will not score. And, and then the Dondozo. Looks like a four point pack, Let's right? See. Yeah, so we've got two for the Nest Ball. Again, this is a rare situation where this, where this uh, particular card is so competitive that it is actually worth two points despite the fact that it is uh, simply an uncommon card. There you go. Not so, even a rare. That brings uh, Elizabeth's total to eight points on the season. Not bad. We're still Not just bad. heating up, you guys. We're, We're still just, heating, just up. heating up. Things are gonna get wild, no doubt. Next up we have Jesse, who is coming in with 18 points. So they're looking for like a really big pack if they want to either get into first or uh, eighth place here. Because uh, they're already past the other two scoring positions. Yes, that's true. That's true. So you're, I mean, you're really looking for like what can skyrocket you up to those 41 points that tie with Braun. Boom! I know. Okay, so not going to the type advantage. That's unfortunate. The Satadel, the Varum, the Magnemite will score. The Toad Scroll, the Cyclozar, the Palmo will score. The Mareep will score, and the Skeledurge. So it's going to be a four-point pack. A lot of scoring cards. Unfortunately, not a lot of scoring points. Not a lot of scoring power behind those, yeah. those scoring cards. Yeah. 22 on the season, very solid. Extremely solid showing, very impressive. And while we're on that note, that was for Team Electric, who could yeah. certainly use a little bit of help in the overall Ooh. team competition. You guys may be aware that when you sign up on Patreon, you are assigning yourself to a specific team uh, with whom you are currently competing. Team Grass has been absolutely annihilated. It's going to be season. really hard for any uh, any other team to take down Grass at this point with only uh, two episodes left. Yes, but uh, Team Grass has 330 points overall. Uh, team Water, 200 points. Team Fire, 164. And Team Electric, 130. 130! And it's saying something, though, because currently, uh, speaking on Team Water, uh, they actually have another Lauren who is in first place. Who's in first place? So they have the first place person, but they're way behind in the overall team competition. They actually have the first place person and the eighth place person. That's so. amazing. Yeah, so yeah, they're showing up well in the, the scoring positions. There's no doubt. Well, anyway, 
What's our current Big Steve person? They're fire. Ryan okay. is fire. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, next up is Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Also for Team Fire. They've got seven points on the season. All right. They've been watching SCB for a long time. It's what they got them into Harry Potter and fantasy in general. Thanks. No. You're welcome. Hey, that's amazing. Currently reading uh, the the Mistborn, Mistborn Mistborn series, and within that fantasy genre, mm -hmm. there I, mean, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm mostly enjoying it so far. Yeah, okay, I think it's been good. it's been good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is one of those books where it feels like it's better the second time when you have like a well, better like a grasp better, on the yeah, world exactly. and the characters. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. All right, we got the energy retrieval, the Lachonk, the Slowpoke, the Watch Trouble score, score, the, the Flappy score, score, the Blissey, the Jacques, the Skeletor, the Actual score. score. The Hound Doom will not, and but the Mirai Dog scores will. twice. Yeah, so right. one, two, three, four, five wow. points. Wow, man, all right, well, you know. That's Does that, is that a tie for 12? <gasps> it is 12 points. Heartbeats into 12. Okay, so we're going okay. to have to, oh, but they have two rare cards in they here, so their rare card rare total cards. is going to be a little bit higher. Who's right. next? Next up we have Smubbles. Smubbles. Smubbles, who is uh, coming in today with six points. So, hey, they're looking for another six points. Let's make the Big Steve race nice and crazy. I know, yeah. It's just, it's just really how it heat up at this point. Because right. now, I mean, we've been waiting all season for this. I know. We've been, yeah, it's, it's taken this long for there to be a tie there. But now it is here. Man, we got the metal energy. Drifloom, Sprigatito, Flittle, Saviper, Flamigo, Fortress, Rocky Helm, but the, the Hypno, Hypno scores! scores. Uh, the Pokeball does not, and the Annihilate does, but sadly, just the two point back there for Smubbles. That is going to bring their total to eight on the season. But you know what? Smubbles, a lot like Bubbles, is yeah. just something you can't really say angry. You it's, can't. Like you can't, it's like. Bubbles. Smubbles. Smubbles. Yeah, no, it's too funny. It's too funny. It's too it's nice. Funny. It's the too cutest sweet. word ever. It is. It really is. All right, let's see. Who's up next? Stacy! Stacy! All right, oh, Stacy. Stacy, who says, on a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always make me feel better. Oh, Thanks so much, Stacy. Hope you're having a better day now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. even better! Our first time to advantage of the day. Let's see what you got, Stacy. All right, we got the Drowsy. Stacy the come to play. The, chonk, the Growlithe, the Bombardier, Hypno the Hypno scores, scores there twice. It is. Beach yes. Court, the, the Starivia does mm -hmm. not, the, the Riolu does, does not, and, and the, the slow slow bro. Bro. Oh, man. So that's going to be a four point pack, right? It is just going to be a four point pack, unfortunately. Man, oh. I was so excited there. We had and the that type brings advantage. Stacy to 11 points on the season. Narrowly missing out. So close. But you do get that slow bro there, which has every. It's one of our favorite pieces of art from this particular collection. There's no doubt. All right, next up is Matthias. Matthias. Matthias, who has 33 points. So they actually could, are they, what? They're in 10th. So Matthias actually is a very good uh, shot at getting into the eighth place spot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they or, need what, seven, eight? Let's see, so uh, Matthias. They need a nine point pack, I think. Three. Well, you you need to match Braun. No, I'm you're, no, you. I'm, yeah, you could match. Um, yeah, no, yeah, they, they need to pass Braun. You're right. You're either right, you're could right. work. Okay, so four, 40, 41 nine or, or ten. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. No, thirty three. Thirty three gets you too high. So eight or nine. Right. I don't no. know. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight, eight, or, eight or nine, nine points. Yeah. Let's see it. What do we got here? A rock is pummeling. We can do math, you guys. Mantra, totally Dollop, right? Vitality the Band, Toxicity, Toxicity scores. scores. There we go. Household does not. By Sharp does not. Reverum does. Reverum oh! only! It was a critical hit! That's going to be so fun to start seeing happen next season. I know, I know. Because right now it's always just like a little bit disappointing because it's like, oh, we saw two of the same card. Although one right. of these is Reverse Hollow and the other one isn't, which is kind of fun. So they are two, two technically different cards, but we would yeah. still score that. No, that would it, count the same. Yeah. That would still count as a critical hit. That which would, would be a two times multiplier? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that was 36 points uh, on the season there. Next up we have Annika like Harmonica. There we go. Coming in with... Four points on the season, so they got a long way to go. Or maybe only a little bit to 12. There you go, yeah, we'll see. All right, so we got the Zangoose, the Krogunk, the Dedenne, the Curlia, the Floragato, the Another Zangoose. Another Zangoose. How about that? A different one? Different so, one. Yeah, okay, so that would not count for the critical hit. Or it would it? not, no. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, the Stonejourner. Uh, the Chansey, oh, the Illustrator Art Scovelin. There we go, so that'll score as well as the Ndidi. Uh, let's take a look at that Scovelin there, number 202 on the set. Boom. That is a cool piece of art right there. That's gonna be worth $2.61, we'll so round up to three. three. Plus the Ndidi is four, so you're gonna double your points on the season. That's gonna get you to eight total for Annika. There we go. Not quite enough to get into Big Steve territory, unfortunately, but still a really cool card heading yeah, your way. So congratulations. 
I do love this Pokemon. I think it's so cool looking. It's he's like, like, a, it's hot, like peppers. hot peppers. Yeah, hot peppers. I've got hot, hot peppers growing in my garden right now. Right, and he's like part grass, part fire, which is fun too, because he's like fun. grass but hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Anyway, next up is Chrysara. Chrysara. All right, Chrysara. Chrysara has 13 points on the season. And they're a black belt, so maybe they're looking for a rock. It's pummeling energy here. Let's see. Bam. Don't get it. Dark tear drop. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. The Houndor, the Citadel, the Magikarp, the Magnemite yeah. scores. Mabostiff, Oinkalone, Spiritomb, Tatsugiri, Picnic Basket. Oh, and, and the, the Slowbro slow again. Man. It makes another appearance. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. But only two points for a total of 15 on the season. It's here. It's there. It's every flipping where. It's slow, bro. Yeah. Slow, slow bro. bro. Man. Am I, anyway, am I up or you up? <coughs> You're up. I'm up. This is why I end up missing out on yeah, right. a lot it's of packs. It's me. Yeah, see, because otherwise I would have said it was me. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. All right, four points on the season thus far for Haley and Colin. All right, Haley. All right, so we got the the salad energy there. We got the Flabebe, which, oh, which does, does score. Yeah, there that, we yeah. go. There we go. Is that our first one? I think it is. All right. Uh, the Ralts, the Tandem Mouse, the Sandaconda, the Katie, the Staraptor, the Quaxwell will not score. The Tandem Mouse will not score. The Meowstarada yeah, will does. score. So just to every, they have gotten two points every single round this season. For a total of six to Haley and Colin, and uh, you guys can just uh, argue over who gets to wear the Miascarada around their neck, like a champ. Like a champ. Like a champ, as a, you, know, you know how it is. Like right, a next, machamp. Like a machamp. Like a machampion. All right, next up we have Chris K. My turn, Ben. Jeez, I'm trying to steal my pack. Can't believe this guy. Chris K makes band merch for a living. Hey, that's fun. Yeah. Pretty cool. Should we have a band tee made for box breakers? A band tee? Yeah, absolutely. Like a, like a super over the top, like tour dates and everything. Oh my everything. gosh, tour dates for box breakers. Wouldn't we'll just come to your town and open a box of cards. That'd be great. Maybe it's just our. Oh! oh! Okay, Speaking okay. Speaking of which, man. dude, good omen, Chris K. If you want to make us some like band merch for box breakers, that'd be amazing. And look at that. Boom, Quaxley. Got the chase card coming in hot. The Pawnar, the Crushing Hammer, the Starly, the Crocolor, the Florges. Come on, give me something big here, Chris. The Zangoose does not score. The Growlithe. The Armor Rouge. All Armor right. Rouge. So, Armor Rouge. That's going to be a four point pack. Couldn't make huge use of the type advantage, unfortunately. It lands at 10 points on the season. Just kind of a bummer. So close to Big Steve there. Armor Rouge reminds me of Under Rouge yeah. from Civil War every right. single time. Do exactly. I say this every single time? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'm going to say it this time. Here you go. When when uh, when Tony calls Spider Man in for the first time and says, Under Rouge. Yeah, everyone was like, what? The trailer that broke the internet, if yeah, I that's recall. That's the one, yeah. All right, next up is Rob Rangoon, like Crab Rangoon. Hey! There we go. All right. Now, I think this is, uh, now, they have three points. It's only their second pack of the season, so they came in midway. All right, we've got a teardrop energy right off the bat. We've got the Switch, the Fubicoco, the Tropius, the Pokeball, the Penny, the Medicham, the Quaxwell. The Shroomish will not score, the Fubicoco will not score, but the Arcanine, Arcanine will! Oh, this is another, do they have the double food? See, they would have had a critical hit. They would have. If only it was have. next season, if but it's only. not. Uh, by the by, dollar forty nine for that Arcanine. So wow. Two points on the on the pack there. Two, therefore only five points on the season. But we'll go ahead and sleeve that Arcanine up for you. It's a nice looking card. It is indeed. If you guys are interested in participating in a future uh, season of Box Breakers, you can either check it out at patreoncom Gaming. And if it's sold out, we also have a um, wait list link available in the description down below. Guys, Scarlet and Violet one fifty one was just announced, and you can look at all the cards. Uh, they're available. They are. Awesome, that's gonna be our October season. It's gonna be insane. If yeah. there was any season, if you were like, I just want like a one-off season like we did for Crown Zenith, October is going to be the month. So if you were like looking to get on that wait list so you could like ensure a spot by then, great time to go and check it Man. out. Link in the description down below. By October, we might be filming it for November. I don't know how it's gonna work out entirely. It'll work out in October, it'll be okay. fine. Okay, yeah, we'll great, it cool, Yeah. good. Cool, next up is Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon has got six points. Three and three. three Let's and see three. if they can three-peat. Can they get the three-peat? They actually want a little bit more than three points, though. They want, like, seven, right? True, true. Yeah, if they're, if they're gonna try and get to Big Steve. Or no, they're, they're, six. They no. want six. You're right, I'm wrong. They want to combine those last two uh, ones. Bam, they got the water energy right there. A lot of water energy today, I feel yeah. like. Room, Launcher, Skidoo, Espathra, Arvin, Cacturn does not score, Sandon does not score, Don Dodes, oh man, it's our first single point, is that our first, no, 
second single point pack of the day. You're gonna land you at seven on the season, Monkey Bacon. Great effort to make it to the Big Steve Award, but I'm afraid you fell a little bit short. Ah, sad face. Hate to see it. Next up is Marcos. Marcos! Who is coming into the day with a solid, what, three points, I believe? Yes, three points. All right, Marcos, we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, it was a good omen, the Poke Gear, the Flow It, the Palmy, the Small Live, the Electric Generator, the Wug Trio, the Judge. Oh, the Palmy scores. Oh, I'm sorry, good save, good save. Uh, the Mabostiff will not score, the Cyclozar will score, and the Halucha will score. So you got a three point pack there across the board. Total um, of six on the season. There we go. We missed, just missed out on that three peat from the last pack, didn't we? Indeed, yeah. There we go. All right, well, pack cards headed your way. Uh, be on the lookout. All right, next up we have got uh, ABBA. ABBA. ABBA, like the band. Like the band. Yeah. The whole band. Maybe they, maybe they chipped in. Probably. This is them. They like, they're like, guys, I know we haven't been hanging out as much recently. You know? We had, uh, we had Mamma Mia. That was a great run. But what if we just... Hear me out. We go all in on this Patreon. <laughs> we just all Let's in. pool our money. Right, yes. This is this is where we make the big bucks. This is back. where we make it back. All right, we're coming back. Grass energy for Abba, <laughs> the band. The band. <laughs> Flittle, Shroomish, Mankey, Char Cadet, Vivalon, Doxbun, Tatsugiri, Clawitzer, Youngster, and Meowskarada. Ah, oh, poor band. Poor, poor of the band Abba. Abba. Mamma mia! Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, that's ten points on the season uh, for Abba. Look, guys, I don't want to say. You could have done better, but frankly, you could have. Oh man, right. yeah, a little bit harsh, a little bit harsh. But you know, uh, if it is any consolation whatsoever, my uh, when I got my first ever CD player with the non-skip function on it, yeah. uh, the CD that mom and dad gave me for Christmas that year was 18s. 18s, which is just a, an ABBA cover cover band for kids in the 90s. Yes. It was amazing! They were great! I wore that thing out. Dancing Queen. Yes. Here we go. All right, next up is uh, Sammy. As wow. ever, probably Ben's sister-in-law, but maybe not. Yeah, on a, on a covert level. On a covert level. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> covert enough to keep her name the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like there are plenty of Sammies. How he won't think it's me. Yeah. All right, we got the Go Goat, the Scatterbug, the Shuppet, We're the Sprigatito, the Tatsugiri, the, the Nest Ball, ball the Pachirisu. There we go. Look at that. It's three points like nothing. The Switch will not score. The Skiddo will not score. But the Amarouge, oh, Amarouge, aka Spider Man, will score. So that's four point pack right there. There you go. One, two, so that's three, four. Be, oh, it is so close because there are thirteen points. Oh, they overshot the Nest Ball. Really, I think I think may have uh, may have tripped him up a little bit. A there. little bit there. Yeah. So, so big sorry to uh, Ben's sister-in-law, Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, better luck next time. Here we go. Next up, we've got Lauren B. Lauren B. Lauren B. Not to be confused with another Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Who is currently our, our, our leader overall. But Lauren B. is doing well. She's got 19 points on the season. So a good pack here. You know, a little alt art Miriam. They could be, they could just shoot straight up the charts. You never know. You a never know. A little alt art Miriam. Just, just, just like the rarest card in the set. Just, the rarest just, card in the set of which we've pulled three now. Yeah. Right? Just, so, casually just casually do it. Casually, casually do it. it. Grass energy. There's the Rotom. That'll score. The Pal Pad. The Baby, The Toxel oh, will score. Score. Look at this. Toad School, Vitality Band, the Smoliv, the Ralts, and the Coridon. All right, so it was something. It was something. How about that? So uh, let's see, number 125 on the set. We'll what do we got? What do we Coridon. got? It's going to be $1.07, two points so for two that points, one. So two points, so four points total for a total of 23 on the season. All right. That might be more points for Team Electric, though. Oh, no, Lauren B's already one of the top three people, so it is more points for Team Electric. But, just, uh, just pulling just more weight more. than before. Exactly. You know, you guys really gotta step up. Lauren's shoulders, you know, they're getting tired. Getting tired. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Next up is Anselman. Anselman. Anselman? One of those. You know who you are. All right, they've got five points on the season. So what are we looking for? Seven point pack here for Anselman? That's what we're looking for. Or something truly massive. Right, yeah, like Of uh, which is possible because this box, it's not delivering thus far, but there's a, way, there's a long ways to go. Ooh. Oh, right, here we go. go. Let's, Let's see something big. All right, we got the Anselman. Quantra. Anselman. Those, Faxley scores. That's, you are correct. 
the Squovit, the Flamigo, the Crocodile, the Ferretris, the Vitality Band does not score. Oh, oh, another Pachirisu! How about that? That will score. And oh, Iron Dress! Oh my goodness, that's so fun. That is so much fun. Okay, so we got an extra point for the Pachirisu. Yeah, don't forget being, that. Oh yeah, so we got the one there. Let's see, number 208 on the set. Electricity um, Pouches, what a great name. Let's see. All right, that's going to come in at two dollars eighty-nine cents. We'll round up to three plus an additional point. We'll make it four. Four. Okay. And, and then, then the iron treads. The iron treads. Let's see. Number one forty-three on the set is going to be worth just sixty cents. Okay. So one, five, six, six times two is twelve. Wow. Oh, man. A lot of something out of nothing there that for Anselm, man. That is seriously a little something out of nothing. What does that put? 17 points on the season. Two, three, four, four. So not enough to get to the top five of water, but a good showing for your final pack. And you get the Pachirisu card, which is awesome. It is very, very cool. That's cute. Two, two sleeved cards is always a great way to end a pack. I know, right? That's the, that's the good thing. Like, even if you didn't get a great pack, you still get some cool cards. You still get some cool cards that you can absolutely frame, take a picture of, and mail it to us, and we will feature it here. Only one person's done it so far, so I feel like, like I've, you know, it seems like every time we put this offer out there, maybe it's just fallen on, you know, whatever. It's fallen on deaf ears, but you know what? You know who's in the, you know who's in the, the Hall of Fame? Is Big V, a.k.a. Vincent. Right here, Hall of Famer. Hall Boom. of Famer. You're yep. welcome. We've got it. Someone did there it. Someone did it. You know what? Someone else will too. It could be you. One of these days. All right, next up is Earth, the planet. The literal planet the literal of planet Earth. The literal planet of Earth plays our game, of course. We're honored. Thank you. Um, they've got six points on the season. It's impressive. Way yeah. to go, way to go Planet Earth. Way to go there. Earth is playing through Platinum for uh, his first time ever on a Pokemon Randomizer. That sounds like a super good time. We got some Metal Energy here, let's see. Wiglet, Grievert, Spupa, Moschiff, Floatzel, Team Star Grunt. Nothing scoring yet, Florgato does not score. Houndstone does, oh my goodness, it would have been a Look critical hit. There's, they're all over the place. This is gonna be a two point pack overall for the planet Earth. That is going to be 6-8 on the season. There we go. Congratulations. We go. Next month, that will be a critical hit. So, you know, something to, something to keep in mind. All right, next up, Jamestown Settler John Smith. Wow. Wow, I know. Blast from the past. You don't hear too much about him these days. Not as much as you would have expected. <clears throat> Especially nope. for surviving for hundreds of years. Right. You would think that that would make the news. All right, Houndor, Driftloon, Citadel, Varun, uh, mm -hmm. Picnic Basket, Bombardier, the Hypno, Hypno Score, the yeah. Mankey, the Mezagoza, and the, the Miascarada. So many Miascaradas in this particular box, isn't there? Yeah, there are. Also, I'm watching the, the TV show Shadow and Bone right now where Morozova. Oh, um, Morozova Miascarada. Mi yeah, oh yeah. Do you remember? I think we had a Morozova. There was in the Nuzlocke. In the Nuzlocke. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forget a, what. A Stantler. It was a Stantler. Morozova yeah. the Stantler. Yes. Wow, made an impression on you. It did. Right. Fantastic. All right, next up we have uh, Hogrid. 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 Oh, well, Hogrid's got eight points, Ben. So they're looking for, I guess, a four point pack? Yeah, absolutely. Or alternatively, let's see, uh, an 82 point pack. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want to say never because we've seen some crazy things on this show. But I would love be, to see it. I would, I would love, love to see it. I would, I'm going to go ecstatic if this is an 82 or more point pack, all right? We've got Ralts, we've got Growl, Shuppet, Tandemouth, Cyclozar, Toxtricity Scores, Mousehold, Houndor, Pawnard, and Quackwobble. Uh, so, not quite 82 points, off by about 80. Uh, we're going to have two points instead. That's going to bring you to 10 on the season. Uh, oh, so about, close. Off by about 80. Yeah, just a, just a narrow miss. Narrow like, miss, like, right? right there. A few degrees off. And then 100 miles in the wrong direction. Right, okay. Right, 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 right. There we go. Next up is Abby. All right, Abby. Not to be confused with ABBA, the actual band. The actual band of yeah. ABBA. Right, yes, of course. All right. Uh, they have a five week old and a five year old as of uh, October. Oh, we say this every time. So I they're know, clearly yeah. a lot older now. At some point in time, we're going to have made it the full year right, and be able to wish, a, wish one of them a happy birthday. Yeah, they're going to have a six year old and a 17 month old. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we got the the Charcadet, the Starly, the Lechomp, the Tarantula, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, the Miriam, oh, not the, the wrong one, one, the Judge, the Saviper, and, and oh, the, the Cloth. Wow. The Cloth. So really, just not a whole lot happening in not that pack whatsoever. Not a lot happening there. We got a good single point for you there, Abby. We got five points on the season. Better luck next time. 
All right, next up, oh man, Ben. It is CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk, who... who if you wonder, uh, last season, th were they the season champion for Crown Zenith? They had 40 points, so they were at least in the lead at some point. But right now, they're sitting at 18 points. So they're putting up back-to-back -back solid seasons here. They're, they're doing well. They're doing well. I feel like we've got a rising star in our midst. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After a, a, a sort of a slow start back in Season 3 when they first entered the game with just a three-point season. Yeah, then they followed it with 40 points. Now they're at 18 well, they're points. They're so putting I mean, in the work of the offseason. That's you know? exactly right. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Metatite, the Energy Search, the Grimer, the Bruxious, the Rock Chest Plate, the Flappy, the flappy Scores, the Palmy Scores. Scores, yes, Pathor does not. Oh, oh the Polar Gardevoir EX! How does CK Hoof Dog do it? How do they do it? My goodness! Number 228 on the <coughs> set. Let's go ahead and take a look at that guy right there. Number That's going to be $11.48 for the Gardevoir so EX. Uh, 12, 13, 14 points on Impressive. the pack! Impressive. What does My that put them at? Goodness. 32 That's going to be them. Yeah, 32. That's correct. Wow. That's Bam! Impressive. 32 points on the season for CK Hoof Dog. Tied with Blue Suede, the Blue Suede. Oh man, so that actually puts them into the top five of Fire, so Fire just scored more points as well. There we go, that's super exciting. Way to go well Team done. Fire. Well, and also, good job on the Gardevoir, like, legit, the most competitive card in the game right now. So, you're doing great on that front. You're doing great, so you can go, you can actually go and build a deck. Actually, we got a request the other day for someone to, for you to create an episode on how to play the game. Oh! Do it. We can do it, man. You know, the good news is I don't know how to play the I'll game. I'll teach you. And therefore, you can teach me. Oh my goodness! All the stars are aligning, Ben. Next up, we've got Hannah coming into the day with a very promising ten points, meaning that they are looking for but a mere dose on this pack. Can we do it, Hannah? Is glory about to be yours? Two points. You know what? We haven't had like any two-point packs though, thus far. But, as far as but, I know. but you know what? Hannah Doesn't could just be can. like just getting all, all all ready for it. Here's the Got grass. The salad energy, the small. The small of. The prime. The will score. Okay, so as long as nothing else except your rare card scores. Then you're great. Then you're great. Here on to the Florigas, the muck, the toad school, the wiglet, and the Klefki! It's a two-point pack! It's a two-pointer! Oh my gosh, it's exactly what we wanted! Alright. That is going to bring you to 12 on the season. So let's go ahead and look up the Klefki value. It's gotta be low. It's not. No. 59 cents. 59? Well, Man. I can almost well, I don't know what our other 12 pointers are. They might have had some like bigger cards along the way getting them to 12 points. We're gonna have to go and do some review on that one. But I mean that Ooh. is that's pretty that's a pretty competitive low value card, all that things is. considered. Because the big Steve Award is kind of strange because the person you have to choose the people who have the scores right above Big Steve. Right. From there, we look at total rare card value. Right. And at that point in time, you want to be the lowest ranking so that you are still the next person most directly in front of Big Steve. Exactly, which is the opposite for the quality eighth place, where if we have a tied eighth place, you want the highest rare card value of all those people to be the true eighth place. Right. Yes. So, a lot of weird math on our end, but we'll figure it out. We'll get the right answer. We will. All right, next up we have Reginald Moneyman. Reginald! Yes, that's right, uh, Munion. Sorry, Reginald Munion is what I have down written here. I always, we have, there's a bunch of variations of how this name is supposed to be pronounced on this one. Um, we, so. We've just changed it a few times. Reginald Munion. Reginald Munion! There we go, alright, they've got four points on the season, so they're looking for something like an eight point pack here, I guess. I like to think that old Reg is a gentleman. Yeah, well, a gentleman! Like, and Reginald comes up and he's all like, oh, dare I, I say, gents, what a spot of bother! <laughs> really? Who <laughs> tipped you off, genius? Uh, that makes oh, sense though. If <laughs> someone got that, just raise your hand in the comments. Just raise your hand, raise your hand. Magnemite scores. The Magnemite, the Tarantula, the Clauncher, the Beach Court, the Sandaconda, the Katie. Man, we are not getting any of our randomly chosen common chase cards they today are just, whatsoever. They are, yeah, we've there. got like one Quaxley and one Flabebe. Embarrassing. Maybe. I know, I Show know. yourselves! Energy Retrieval will not score, the Dedenne will not score, but oh, the Fuller Fuller Penny, Penny will! Penny, that is fantastic! Well done, you can put that right in your Gardevoir deck. I'll you can you just that. do it right away. Let's yep. see, number 239 on the set is going to be worth nine dollars and six cents we'll round up to ten points plus right. an additional point for the magnemite there we'll so take 11 the points 11 on points on that that is going to bring them to what 11 14 15 points 15 points on the season man pretty solid there original original all right and you get a full art trainer that is always that's always great it's my favorite way to bling my decks is to have the full art trainers always look so good especially if like a full set Woo. Woo. It's fantastic. That's fantastic. <gasps> then we have 
Uh, Andriana, who has got, so far, two points on the season. So what Andriana really wants here is a single point pack. How many people have? I think that Andriana is currently tied with Blood Vamp. And it okay. doesn't mean that any of these other folks below don't still have one more pack, either uh, today or in next week's episode. But Andriana is in a fantastic position if they get a Woo! bare single point they to won. get the last place award. Oh my gosh, Andriana, be the hero we all deserve. Let's see it, let's see it. So we want a single point out of this pack. So we don't want the type advantage. We're okay. off to a good start. Here we go. Start. All okay. right. Now we, now do we want no lightning, no randomly chosen common chase cards, and no bonus rares. Right, so it's gonna, it's, I mean, we'll see. Cacnea. Oh, oh no! The Marie right away! Unfortunate Silicobra, Youngster, Blissey, Jack, Indeedy. Oh no, Indeedy also scores. Starly and Cloth. Oh, tragedy strikes Andriana. She scoops three points on the last round, bringing her total to five. Oh, four might have been salvageable, but five, I don't know. I, I don't think you know. might be out yeah. of the running. It looks like Blood Vamp. Have... Blood Vamp is now in the number one position. In the number one position for it. Otherwise, it looks like Cal is. Uh, presently at three packs, four points. There's a few people at three packs, four points. We have some people at two points, or two packs, three points as well. Right. So. Okay, so they could land at four, potentially. But v Blood Vamp might remain the only person who can land a three pack, three point. It depends on any, if any of these people have future packs left to go. That's true. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so there, there's still some shakeup possible. Based on what we absolutely know, Blood Vamp is currently the person in the best possible Well, position. I gotta tell you what, Ben. We, are, uh, we have one more contestant here. Berkeley Comstock, but then Blood Vamp is next. No way. Yeah. Who All could right. have thought? I Let's feel like Blood it. Vamp and Ang Andriana might now be uh, newfound rivals. Woo! Might have to write that down. All yeah. right. I'm you, you open this pack I'm for gonna Berkeley, do it. who's got 26 points, by the way. So All right, Berkeley. Really yeah, there we go. There we go, Berkeley. We don't want to. We don't want to like take away from Berkeley's pack here while we're establishing a lifelong feud between Andriana and Blood Vamp or anything. But it's important to do these things. All right. So we got the Teardrop Energy right out of the gate. We got the Watch Roll, which will score the Croc Rock, the Mankey, the Squawk Ability, the Spirit Tomb, the Ultra Ball, the Aspathra, the Potion, the Scatterbug will not score, and the oh, Skeleton. Just a two-point pack there. Two pointer. Four of them bring them to 28 on the season. Not gonna do any sort of podium placing with that, unfortunately, but a seriously good showing at 28 points. All right, all right, here, here we, we go, go, Ben. Blood Vamp, <sighs> Andriana's new hated rival. Hated Can rival. Can Blood Vamp do what Andriana could not and grab a single point out of this pack right here? We're about to see, we're about to all see right. the total rare card value across two packs for, uh, for Blood Vamp is it's, currently 32 cents. It's tricky, you gotta dodge all the chase cards, the type advantage, the any electric card at all. Here we go. Can it be done? Off to a good start. Rock is pumping. That's what we, we wanted. All right. No electric. Oh, oh no! The Magneton, Magneton right there. The Klawitzer, the Griever, the Vivalon, the Daxman, the Tatsugiri, the oh, Magneton. Oh, the Klaw! It's going to do Oh, no! The Palma! Oh, my gosh! Andriana is laughing in her seat as her three points are immediately looking a lot better than these four points right here. Yeah, we got one, two. Three, four. four. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, unfortunate. Blood Vamp was sitting there thinking, maybe, maybe today's my day. Maybe today's my day. I don't think it is that because we do have other people with three packs and less points now. So unfortunately, Blood Vamp is out of it for last place. Oh, oh man. you hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, here we go, Ben. Next up, always a surprise. Always, always a fun player to see their packs. It's Data Rage. It's Data Rage. In fact, the moderator for us, who's currently been going through and, and running some data on yeah. the, uh, the old Box Breakers episodes to make sure that uh, Jay is, in fact, still the winner, even in a game that we're not competing in. All right, so we got the Dolive, the oh, Quaxley the scores. Score. There, there it is. Ponyard, the Crushing Hammer, the Star Raptor, the Wog Trio, the Judge, the Metatite will not score, the Scovelin will not score, and, and the, the Coridon will. Just, there you go. So just a two-point pack, and Data is literally like, why did you let Ben open my pack I for know. me when Jay was right there to do better? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that, we'll Data. See. We'll see how much better it could have been. Those cards are coming to you. Next up is Lady Starlight. Lady Starlight. 
Starlight. Lady Starlight has got five points on the season. Let's see, Data, what could have been? What could have been? What could have been? Or what could have Jade, I suppose. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was pretty no, good. No, that was you. good wordplay, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, get this out of here. Throw it into the mulch pile. Into the mulch, bam, fireball energy, all right. Bisharp, Riolo, Go Goat, Scatterbug, so much grass. Zangoose, Stonjourner, the Grimer, the Rare Candy, and the, the Cyclozar. Wow, so, wow, 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 sorry to wow, Data wow, Rage, wow. but you were doomed. You were doomed, <laughs> no matter which way you sliced it. There you go. Oh, that man. That is going to be six points on the season for Lady Starlight, who is a uh, who's a Slitherpuff, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Cyclozar coming your way. Next up is Shauna. This just feels like a dense pack. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. No? It just, it feels, it feels weighty, and it would be one of those prize positions where it's like nearly nearly the end of the box. Well, so they are like, at, yeah, we haven't had like something big. We haven't had like a gold or a illustrator or a, you know, alt art or something. Let's see, we got the Palmo, Palmo which scores. will score, the Toad School, the Arvin, the Cacturn, the Mezagoza, the Lechonk will not score. Oh, there it is! The Nest Ball! Oh wow. my god! You were right, man, the dense back. So I guess this is an extra two points. No, that's just regular. That's just ball. regular, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, we'll I, take a look. We haven't had this one I yet. I know, this is a brand new card for us in the Professor's Research. So number 255 on the set. I have to imagine this is somewhat valuable just given the fact that the regular one is, and it is yeah. $18.60. So that's gonna be uh, uh, 19 yeah. 20, 21? 21 points out of a single pack. My goodness, that's gonna bring their total to 28 on the season for Shauna. And you get the gold Nest Ball. Oh my gosh, that's a great card. That's a super playable card. You can put it in basically every single deck. Absolutely beautiful. That's, yep. That is super exciting right there. I love it, I love it for you. Yep. Well done, well done. Man, we knew, we knew there had to be something. We were missing something. That was funny though, because I was like, this feels like a heavy pack, and you're like, we haven't had a gold card. There it was. We were both right. There we go. Next up is, and our final contestant of the day is Rozzy Thacking, who has six points on the season. God, you know they're feeling like they just missed out on the gold card. I know, I know indeed. Mm. I've been a fan since the fire red nuzlocke. My goodness, it's been a good, it's been a hot minute. And then let's see, here we go. Oh, oh, oh man, maybe Rozzy is gonna come to play. Final pack of the day has got the lightning energy in it, the Moschip, the Wiglet, the Pawnard, the Toad School, the Scoville, and man, too bad that wasn't the chase card. My I know, goodness, so many. Know. The, the Watcher, Watcher will, will score. score. Oh my oh, goodness! And it's double, right? It is double! Wow, okay, we might need it. We, we're gonna have some, is there anything else? Okay, so the research. Wow, okay, so the Gardevoir EX, our third one in this pack. We have seen all versions of Gardevoir EX out of this Jeez. one box. That's so Jeez. wild. This is the one. This is the illustrator one. Boy, you know that Rozzy was thinking they just pulled a gold one. There's no way they pull something better. But oh my goodness. $47.20. That's that were out to $48. That's going to be a 96, 97, 98, 99 point pack. What? Is that right? Oh my, hang on. Let's do the math again. Okay, okay so, so 48 for this right. one. So... 40, so 48, 49. Oh yeah, it can't be 50, 99. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's a 100 point pack. It's a 100 point pack. A 100 point, and it's the final pack it's of the final, episode. It's, it's finally final happened. Happened. The ball. Yes, oh my gosh. A one, no way. Rozzy cannot believe it right now. That is 106 points for the new leader. What is happening? Oh my God, that is a huge win for Team Fire as well. Wow. Where overall they have been in uh, in third place with 164 Jeez. points. I mean, that could jump them into second. It could, it could do, yes, I think it will. Very easily, because Rozzy was down there with just six points. So this is almost for sure net 100. Wow, that is wild. Look at that card. The, the, that is how you do it with the multiplier. It was the last pack with the it, multiplier. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my so god, I'm good. looking at all of our cameras right now. Like, we were filming, right? We, right, we were filming. We're there. Okay, That's we're on. filming. Oh my goodness. Wow, well, Woo! good job, Rozzy. I didn't think we were going to get a first place change on the last pack of the day, but we did. This is what, I mean, and the crazy thing is we have one more box to go, you guys. I know. Anything can happen, and how fitting that it's the Gardevoir, right? I kept telling you how competitive it was, and boom, it came to play. And now this also means, that I think that this was the only movement in the top 10 that we had today, but that means mm. that Braun moves out of the quality eighth place, yeah. and Shalini moves in. Oh, there you're right. So Shalini now with 42 points has the eighth place 
spot, locked down. Well, not locked down, but um, you know, presently is sitting there. Promising Hoping nobody position. else gets more than 42 points. However, Margo and Tyler Gillies both only have two packs so far. Oh, you're right. So, so two people in the top eight have a pack left. My goodness, anything could still happen. This is what. Also, I mean, you never know when you get the multiplier and something big like that. It's a lot. It's, it's a, lot. a lot. Very exciting stuff. Anyway, guys, as ever, if you would like to get in on a future episode of Box Breakers and get get to be a part of all this fun that we're, yeah. that we're clearly having over here, that's right. Uh, we have a link to our wait list down below. Otherwise, you can always just check on patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Yeah. Tune Any, in next week for the finale. The finale coming soon. Also, Paldia Evolves coming next month. Yes. Brand new box set. Lots of new cards to look at. Until next time. Bye!